All right, I've got the coolest thing ever that I wanna show you regarding the Mag 15. And it also puts rhyme to the reason why Dave 2D's review unit, the way he revealed it, was getting very good thermal performance. That's something that has been bothering me for weeks, as Dave is a very well-respected content creator. And I just thought to myself, there was no way that he would want to deceive the customer and everyone that watches him with the information that he revealed, and I finally figured it out. So Dave, hit me up on this to let me know if this is what was going on your end, but I am 99.9% .9 certain this is what we've got. So let's go ahead and focus on exhibit A here. Yes, not a very professional video, but it's the easiest way for me to get my point across. This button down here, when from the factory, you push it and it will toggle between balanced, battery saver, and performance. La -di da right? So what that looks like in here is you push this and it's gonna toggle through all the settings. Now, the fans in performance mode and standard mode are only gonna scale up so far and they will do this on their own. The only way to max out the fans is to enable benchmark mode, which is this right here. Now, when you enable benchmark mode, that means the TDP of everything is gonna work at its maximum, the fans are gonna work at its maximum, and of course you get very, very high temperatures. So what I was trying to do with electronics in their control center is I have many different beta versions of this installed on here is I ultimately want this button here to work as a dedicated fan, maximum fan, and that's it. And then when I wanna change the power modes, I will just manually select them. On day two of me receiving this laptop, which was several weeks ago, that actually happened to me. Now that wouldn't be the first time is the control center software on many of these Tongfang chassis has been known to be a little bit buggy and I'm starting to figure out why that is. And this is very strange. So what I'm gonna show you here should work for you. We're gonna do this in real time. If this works here, which it will, it'll be the fifth time in a row that it has worked. And you're not gonna believe this, right? So what we need to do is first get on a different version of this as the current control center that you guys have is not going to work for this however the one coming up here hopefully in a few weeks you're going to be able to do this on and uh, let me show you what that's going to look like so many of you out there that already have the current mag 15 you'll realize that the balanced mode it's limiting the gpu frequency heavily and this is something that's going to get fixed. However, I do have a beta version that doesn't actually address this either, but until I apply this little method to max out the fans, then it works. I know this is strange, just bear with me. So what you're gonna wanna do when you get the new control center is uninstall the control center here. This is very basic, right? But there's still one more thing you're gonna wanna do. So click on install. All right, now it says restart now. Click no. Now you can go ahead and restart this, but you still need to delete a file, and we're just gonna do that first before we restart. So go into your PC and go into program files, not the x86, and find the one that says OEM. That's just the control center, and this is gonna save all of your settings. We need to get rid of this, all right? We'll get rid of this just for fun. We'll go ahead and clear the recycle bin. And now we'll go ahead and reboot. Now upon rebooting, you'll notice that this button will still toggle and light up, but we have no more on-screen display. We've got nothing going on here. And eventually the LEDs and the keyboard will just go black. So now we're gonna go ahead and install a newer version of the software, something that you will be getting very soon. All right, so the main reason that I needed the newest software is that's gonna take that middle mode, what is currently known as balanced, and it's just gonna allow us a traditional boost frequency per the 1660 Ti or the 2070 Max-Q. It's not gonna engage electro boost, but what this will ultimately do was cap our CPU to around that 65 and 45 watt power limit versus 165. And now we're gonna disable electro boost with this. And I have a very strong hunch that this is what Dave did to test his system. But now I'm gonna show you how to make that button that toggles through all the power settings become a maximum fan button. I know this is weird, just bear with me. All right, so after getting the newer software installed, I want you to go into your BIOS. 
Now you're not really gonna do anything in here at all, okay? You're just getting into your BIOS. You don't have to click on anything or do anything at all. We're in here. You're just gonna hit escape and quit without saving. Yes, it's literally that simple. Now that we got the software up and running, we can toggle all this stuff manually with the mouse, but when we hit the button, it now maxes out the fan. Turn it off, turn it back on. The power modes are not doing anything. We're not even getting any on-screen display up here. It is literally a maximum fan button now. All we did was just go into the BIOS and then quit without saving. And that is all. So let's now assume for a second that Dave's model, which was sort of a prototype, he did have Master Gel Cooler Master Thermal Paste on there, which did help aid thermal performance just a little bit. And then of course, he got into the BIOS, right? Let's assume that he was poking around and started playing some games, right? Just like, you know, any tech reviewer would do. And now this button, without even knowing any better, just worked as a maximum fan button. And then he would just manually toggle through the power modes, which in my mind, I think is a better solution for everyone anyway. And then voila, we have great thermal performance. Check out this clip of me playing Battlefield 5 now, running the balanced mode here, but with maximum fans. And now we're getting really good system performance here. And I'm not doing any tuning. This is just out of the box, what to expect. We have the negative 50 millivolt in play. We haven't done anything to MSI voltage curve editor. And here we have GPU temperatures that start to get into that 74 degree mark, but we have relatively decent boost frequency. Yes, you are seeing power limit throttling here because Electra Boost is not working, but check out the CPU thermal performance. I mean, this is Battlefield 5, and to get into the lower 80s, no wonder everybody thought this laptop was amazing, especially based on the software that he was testing. I mean, this could be a really great solution, but it is kind of weird, right, that going into the BIOS now changes everything. There's a few things that can get this to revert back. One, reinstalling the software. Two, draining the battery completely. And three, some have reported just rebooting the laptop also would revert this back to stock. I personally have not experienced that yet. Others have, so just a heads up. Sort of a little bit of a bug here with the system or the software, but again, I have seen this happen before with other Tongfang chassis. It just took me many months to kind of figure out what was going on. I don't have a specific answer as to exactly what is causing this, but I have been able to repeat this numerous times and I have a feeling you're gonna have some really good luck with it. So uh, good luck out there, folks. Have some fun and uh, catch you in the next video.